causes tuberculosis. Tuberculosis? TB to you. Oh, that little thing? From that little thing comes that awful disease? It doesn't look like much to me. No? No. Do you know that that little thing is alive? Uh, oh, blow me down. Quiet, please. <laughs> and it eats as you do. And it breathes. Oh, if that germ could only talk, what a story it would tell. But germs don't talk. No, but suppose he could. Suppose I could invent in my laboratory a special radio that could hear what he might have to say. Yes. That's an idea, all right. <laughs> Yourself. Sure, I love to talk about myself. Exciting, full of adventure. Your incubator up there is a pretty snug place for an old timer like me, Professor. But I remember when I was a youngster, I lived in the lung of a nice lady, Aunt Matilda. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, old trooper. I remember Aunt Matilda. She never seemed very sick, but she did have a cough. Never thought much about it, though. Didn't she have a little nephew? Right, oh. Edgar was his name. Dear Aunt Matilda used to feed him, taste his food for him to be sure it wasn't too hot. That's how I got into little Ed's lungs. Watch, Professor. How 
body. And once in Edgar's mouth, of course, I made my way into his lungs. Well, 